Welcome, <clears throat> Welcome to this five minute film on using the MGI mouse genome browser. This is a tool for being able to find sequences on the mouse genome, uh, assuming that you know the uh, location of the uh, particular region you're looking for or a specific uh, marker such as one of the DMT markers. We're going to look for uh, a particular marker here. We're going to look for D4. MIT-164 because this is a marker that came up during a QTL analysis. So I'm going to type in D4MIT-164. I'm going to hit the uh, search button, but before I do that, I'm going to look down below here and see if there are any options that I want to look for. Notice here I can. there are a bunch of phenotypes that I can have turned on. Uh, I can turn on, I want to look for a specific QTL. I'll go ahead and turn that on, but I don't think we'll find anything with that. Um, uh, mostly what I want to look for is genes, and typically uh, what I would like to look for is ensemble transcripts, uh, representative MGI transcripts, uh, NCBI or Vega transcripts. So I have those all checked on, and once I do that, I'm going to hit the search button. It takes a few minutes, and here I see my track. And what you should notice here is that I do have this menu here where I can zoom in or zoom out. Uh, so for example, I'm showing about 142 base pairs right now. I could show less right here. Click on the show uh, 100, 100 base pairs and it'll zoom that down. And what I'm noticing in here, so here's my marker right here in the yellow. Okay, and that's it's telling me that is a, that marker is about, uh, uh, in terms of base pairs, 59415133 to 59415232. So it shows me where uh, what, what I'm looking at here in terms of a region. Coming down here, I can see some different transcripts. So I see there is a transcript there called SUSD1. Uh, and NCBI shows that I have one there as well. Ensemble shows that I have the same gene uh, going on down. Uh, so on and so forth. So what I'm seeing there is that in this QTL here, so you see the QTL here in, in red, um, what you see should notice here is that I have underneath this QTL, I think I have a gene called SUSD1. So that's how I use MGI browser to try to see uh, what genes might be under uh, a particular marker or near a particular marker. Okay, I hope that helps. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.